Good afternoon. My name is Sven and I'm from Belgium and I'm an expert in web development and app development. We're here to talk to you about our open sign project. And you can see the logo of the open sign project up on the PowerPoint. And this is our sign, open sign. And this project has brought together a group of people to work together because we've observed that in deaf education, many of the resources that are available to deaf children don't necessarily meet their needs in terms of giving them access to sign language resources. There are many barriers for deaf children in their learning because there are no sign language resources available to them. So we wanted to create various sign language visual resources for these deaf children. The project brings together six partners, three deaf partners, three hearing partners. The three deaf partners are from Germany, a media company. From Belgium, that's myself, the web development expertise, the app expertise. French, a French company, Media <coughs> PI, and I'm from Sign Fuse. And the three Hearing partners are from France, who are experts in developing e-books that can be used on phones as well as other devices. There are two deaf schools from Italy and Romania, and these are the key things that we're focusing on in our project, and which are available through our website. We're developing e-books, educational sheets and lesson plans, which can be used in the classroom. And these are available in five languages. We're also developing games and activities that can be used by teachers in the classroom with deaf children. So for example, an Italian child can use these activities in interactions with other children, and children in Belgium can learn from those Italian activities and vice versa. So all of these children co-create activities and share these games. The goal of our project <coughs> is to try and reach out to deaf children across Europe. That's the ultimate goal for us, is to develop resources for deaf children throughout Europe. But we know there'll be a whole variety of deaf children using sign language, some will have cochlear implants, some will be educated orally, and it's impossible for us to create the resources that they need in every single different sign language or different format. So as a result, what we decided to do was to try and find a more fast track solution rather than trying to negotiate with different governments to get different kinds of funding to develop resources for each country because we knew that this would be a real challenge and that we would face bar barriers in getting institutional access to really working our way through the hierarchies to get the funding that we would need to provide these resources in these different countries. So one way to overcome that, we thought, would be to get some funding so that we could create a visual resource. And we recognise how important it is for national sign languages to be recognised in different countries. We value those national sign languages. But the Open Sign Project also seeks to develop resources visually which are accessible to all children. Because ultimately what we want to do is empower deaf children. And how do you think we can do that? What's the best way of doing that? And for us, we decided it was by using international sign. We know that some people think that international sign is an impoverished tool for communication. But ultimately for us, we felt that there was power in using international sign as a visual form of communication, which would, in the end, empower deaf children. So that has been the goal of our project. 
we have two aims. One is to develop resources, video-based resources in sign languages that are also featuring illustrations and graphics to make them by using these graphics, we make the videos more engaging for the deaf children to watch. And we're hoping that deaf children who don't use sign languages would also be able to follow the videos because of the visual graphics that are available to them, not just the sign language access that they have. And so because of these animations that we can also use, it enhances the experience in their learning for the deaf children. And we want to ensure that the deaf children have the opportunity to access all this information in various languages. So not only do they have access to learning, they can have access to learning visually, in a visual medium. I'm going to show you an example of a video about recycling. If we could uh, move to a full screen please, so we can show the video. The critical thing in our project is about to, is been to find visual, creative ways of conveying this information. But also thinking about creative ways for teaching deaf children, for children to learn, so that no deaf child is disadvantaged in their learning. And when we think about creating online resources, we wanted to ensure that our website was as accessible as possible and that would not require people to use words to search the website. So we decided to create a more iconic website that would actually use symbols and tokens. Now you all know about YouTube. If you want to find more information about our project, and see the avatars that we use, the visual graphics that we use, and the symbols that we use. You can see many of these videos on YouTube. And you know what it's like when you're searching through YouTube that you will often have to use words, you have to type in a keyword to find the videos that you're looking for. So this is what we've done instead. And the, the UN Declaration of Human Rights, Article 19, actually supports us in our mandate, saying that everybody has the right to seek and receive and impart information and ideas through any media, regardless of frontiers. So what we wanted to do was take into account the deaf experiences of daily life and the fact that they constantly have to rely on searching through text and we wanted to give people a chance to search our website, the Open Sign website, visually by using visual iconic symbols. There is 
some minimal text on the website, but you'll see very few text. It's mostly symbols and signs. So you can see the symbols across the top and also down the side of the page, which if you want to search, you just need to click on one of these symbols. So we decided to create our own sign language based games to be used with deaf children. We'd like to show you an example. game normally where you have to pick two different pictures that match and find the matching pair so it's the same concept where you pick the picture that matches the sign so we have three different types of memory games that we have created we've also created sequence games where you have to select the right sequence of signs to create a sentence. And we've also created multiple choice games, where you get to watch the signed question and then select the right signed answer, which we hope will continue. Emphasizes the focus on sign language and visual learning and the creation of resources through online platforms and we'd like to encourage you to use them. And Amanda will now sum up. Now as adults of course we're creating these resources and we're encouraging teachers to use them but what we see is that the children themselves have been a valuable asset to this project. They've been co-creating the resources and engaging in pedagogy, peer pedagogy. So they're teaching each other by using these resources. The children have engaged in development of the resources. And so for example, the kids in one school would be teaching the kids in, the other, in one of the other schools in the project. And we've seen this as a, a major contribution to our project, the direct involvement of the children themselves. And for us, we think that, although it's important to recognize that the, the importance of the national sign languages of each country, we can work together to create resources in sign language and with visually enhanced resources for the benefit of these deaf children throughout Europe. So the Open Sign Project seeks to continue this philosophy. Perhaps you would like to think about creating your own visual resources, your own films with deaf children. Feel free to contact us. And then if we were able to secure further funding, perhaps you can come on board and work with us as a partner. And we'll be making these resources freely available for anybody. At the end of the day, we all have the responsibility to open the minds of deaf children visually. And there are many ways that we can do that. We know that many deaf children are isolated in their own classrooms. And they don't get exposed to the, the possibility of being able to think visually and learn visually through sign language. So this is a resource that they can all use and everybody is welcome to use them. Thank you very much.